Well, I think it's finally that time to try and fire up the S10. It's been sitting for quite some time. Um, it's definitely seen better days. I got the whole back end full of wood and garbage, but um, we'll see if we can fire it up and then uh, if it does fire up and stay running, I'll air up them tires and uh, I think it needs transmission fluid. The last time I tried to move it, uh, it didn't want to go anywhere. But I've already poured a little bit of gas in the in the carburetor and a little bit in the tank. And I put the battery in it, of course. And uh, something's been eating my foam. That's all right. Let's see if this thing fires up. I'm gonna go out there and see if the uh, see what position the choke's in because I forgot to set that I don't know if it uh, if it's open or closed no it's all the way open that uh, that could keep it from starting see what happens now gas up to the garb there. Pump it a bit. Well, I think it's time for ether. That always does the trick. All right, let's uh, see what happens. Well, she popped. I need to spray a little more in there and uh, apparently clean off my lens. It's kind of dirty. Can I get anything to focus? All right, I'll be back in a second. There, now it's focusing a little better. Don't know what the deal was, but... Keep shooting her. That's my motto. Got enough to run for a little bit. Well, the ether's wasting my time. I'm going to play with that big jug and see if I can pour some in the uh, in the bowl if I can get to it. It's kind of awkward, but we'll try. Well, of course I spilled gas everywhere, but we'll give it a shot anyway. You just you just sit up here and watch for fire. I spilled a fair amount. Well, we might have actually got some up to the car with that one, I don't know. Choke a little bit. <clears throat> Phew, stinky. Open that choke up just a wee bit. Maybe she'll run a little bit. Hopefully.
be running halfway is decent. We're sitting for so long anyway. Well, I spoke too soon. Got to kind of keep your foot on the gas, keep her going. See if we can get her to warm up. She's idling. I'm gonna go grab uh, grab my tank and fill it there and fill these tires up and of course I gotta set that choke again. Grab my air tank, fill these tires up, and then uh, see if we can move her. Open her up a little bit, see if that helps. And uh, I suppose I'll probably have to check the transmission fluid too. Stay running. <laughs> ah, the hell with it. If it doesn't, no big deal. Well, let's get my air tank. All right. Well, I've got the uh, tires aired up. Halfway season, enough to move it, and uh, it's actually idling. Halfway is decent. Uh, let's see if it'll move. Oh, no brakes. No brakes at all. That's all right, we don't need to stop. Hard to see behind me. I'll just assume there's nothing in my way and I'll keep going. That'll work, right? junk. Don't need brakes when you can't move. All right, I'll let her idle here for a bit and uh, we'll uh, pump up the tires and take a look at the brakes. Well, I went ahead and I put air in the tires and uh, Put a little bit of transmission fluid in it and a little bit of brake fluid in it and uh, went ahead and drove it down the road there and realized I still had no brakes, no pedal. Uh, I did find the leak though. It's way down here by the frame. I don't know if you can see it. Move that, uh, that there. It's in the line there. So I'm going to pinch that off and then I, I made it down to where that white fence is over there and it backfired and it died. And when it backfires, what it does is it closes this choke here. Open it up and show you. Which has uh, no way to open it from the inside of the truck because that mechanism's not working. Um, so I'm going to fix that so I can start it again when it dies because it backfires uh, well more than it should. And uh, I think once I get it so I can start it and stop it, I might actually have something to drive long enough to destroy it. I mean, the only real problems with this truck are starting it and running it and moving it and stopping it. So it's pretty much scrap weight at this point. Um, transmission slips like crazy, but it does move. Uh, so I'll just see if I can quick fix those two things so I can stop it and start it and I'll beat the hell out of it. Why not? Well, I've gone ahead and I've uh, made that choke work again, at least for now, and uh, went ahead and I pinched off where it was leaking from the brakes, and uh, now I have absolutely no brakes. Nice firm pedal, but uh, no brakes. So, we'll just beat her around the cornfield a little bit. I don't know why I keep 
hitting the brakes. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. But. We'll just destroy this piece of shit. Why not? As long as the transmission holds out. <laughs> Let's uh, see if she'll start again. Oh boy, I'm always out. There. <laughs> All right, well, now I'm in the middle of a cornfield and I gotta see what happened. Oh well. All right, a little work with the batteries. I got her going again. This thing's such a pile of crap, I can't even beat on it. Oh well. That's all right, we'll find a spot in the trees to park her and call the damn thing a day, I think. I don't know where I'm gonna park it though. I definitely have to think before I park it, because I have no brakes. Probably go behind them trees. There's probably a place back there that'll work. At least this thing has reverse, even if it doesn't have brakes. Of course, it fucking backfires and won't stay running, but hey. what I did hitting that dead tree. I'm curious. Hopefully I can pop the hood. Oh, just a little dinger. No big deal. Maybe we'll go run over stuff some other day. 